Hannah Mojo has once again gone and got herself into major trouble. We all know Tana has time management issues and a total lack of regard for other people's time. We've seen her be called out over and over again for not showing up, showing up late, or just completely ghosting people. It's nothing new with Tana, but when it happened to Dave Portnoy from BFFs, he went off. No one has ever gone off on Tana like this before, and it was so good to see. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Over the past few years, Tana Mojo has shown less of an interest in her YouTube channel and more of an interest in podcasts. Not only did she start her own podcast, but she also goes on a ton of other people's podcasts as a guest. The only problem with Tana guesting on podcasts is that she's running on someone else's time. Normally, these podcasts run on a really tight schedule, all these creators have to clear a time every week to meet up, make sure the time works for everyone else, and produce a show. If you guys know Tana, you know being on time has never been her greatest ability. Ever since Tana started her career online, she's been known to be unreliable. Even back in the early days, Tana would constantly be late to collabs, and even worse, be a no-show, no-call. A few years ago, she even stood up Jeffree Star when they planned to do a video together. Um. So yesterday, Tana never showed up, was four hours late, I sent her a voice text and I'm like, hey girl, if you're late, no worries, didn't get a response until midnight, we were going to film at 4pm, no tea, no shade, or is it all tea, all shade, and uh, um, if she ever wants to come over, I'll be here, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe never, but baby, don't play with my time. She frequently used to be late or not even show up to her collabs with her old bestie, James Charles. One time, James even tweeted, I hate people who are uncommunicative and then bail on things and ruin plans. But Tana is older now. She has new management. She should be more reliable, right? Wrong. Brianna reached out to Tana and asked her to come on the BFS podcast this week, and Tana agreed. For those of you who don't know, BFFs is a weekly podcast with Brianna Chicken Fry, Josh Richards, and Dave Portnoy. They record the podcast remotely, so it's really important for their guests to be on time and be ready to film. Getting everyone together for an in-person podcast can be hard enough. But when it's remotely and everyone is in different parts of the country and possibly even in different time zones, it adds an extra layer of difficulty. Not to mention, this is a weekly podcast. Whoever plans their show probably spent their time researching, writing questions out, and planning games to play that relate to Tana. This wasn't like a last minute thing, but Tana didn't care because she canceled 30 minutes before she was scheduled to join. I'm looking at the sheet says Tana Mojo is going to be our guest on the pod. And before they even say it, like she almost canceled, but she's doing it. I just got back from New Orleans, hence like the NOLA, but um, we're ready to go. I've been here for like 20 minutes. And then I guess she bailed. Like I literally, the sheet had her on it. So yeah. I guess she Has bailed she 10 minutes bailed? before. Yes, yeah, she yeah, texted she's... us like 30 minutes ago and was like, I'm puking everywhere. I can't come. Classic. Saw that one coming. Now, Dave didn't let Tana off easy, like, at all. He went absolutely in on her. We've seen people get mad at Tana before and go on Snapchat and maybe say something a little bit shady when Tana doesn't show up. But this was nothing like we've ever seen before. But there can't be any human who takes her seriously. You're just a clown. Like, you can never be taken seriously by anybody on, like, a business end. Like, if she's doing any business deals, I would trust her ever she's yeah, a clown she might not show up she's a clown she has no respect for like you, you to conduct yourself in that unless you're like well no it's the same way if you're like rappers do that i find like they they show up six hours late for the pizza yeah, reviews yeah, yeah. but i don't take them seriously and like the, i know what i'm getting i think we already know that tana shouldn't be trusted with business deals if you guys remember her show with mtv tana gave her manager at the time jordan such a hard time Tana was scheduled to launch her perfume at a certain time. Her manufacturer was overseas and she needed to be ready at a specific time. Jordan called and called and called her and she never answered or showed up. 
It's crazy because it just goes to show that Tana doesn't care about her products or her business. There's so many people out there with amazing products, but they don't have the resources to promote them or sell them the way that Tana does. Tana doesn't even have amazing products and she doesn't even have the drive to wake up by 3 p.m. to attend her business meetings to make money. Like who you know? did this wine with her, Dizzy? I would have never done that. She's gonna that and implode that one way or the other. She'll like, she'll miss Big appearances, words. she'll do whatever. Like I would never go into business with her in a quadrillion, zillion, trillion years. Lucky for Tana, Dizzy Wine isn't even her own wine, so I'm sure there's not too much work for her to do. We all know now that her wine is from a website where you can slap your name or picture or branding, whatever you want on a wine can, and they ship you however many you like. It's all the same flavors, it's the same grapes, there's nothing special about it. To make this whole situation even worse, Tana used the exact same excuse that she used last time when she canceled on them. I think that's the second time she's used that exact, exact excuse same excuse, with us. right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I texted not, Brianna. Not I was like, first hey, one. this ain't slick. This ain't slick whatsoever. What a yeah, you you yeah. cancel like Business 20 Dave. minutes before with the same exact excuse you had last time? Like the I, same one. That's the problem. It's the same excuse. Like, uh, you got to come up with something different, right? You can't use puke yeah, everywhere. That's what I said. She my homework twice. Last yeah. <laughs> yeah, she she said she had COVID and was puking everywhere. This time she's just puking everywhere. Say you got run over by a car. Yeah, at least, at least something at least, creative, right? not yeah. the puking. So, and this isn't a situation where Tana might have just forgotten and it was planned ages ago and it just slipped her mind. Brie literally just asked her and she confirmed the night before and the morning of. Uh, I was talking to her and she was like, yeah, for sure, I'll come on. And then I gave her the time and dates like 20 times. And then she said, sure. And then she texted 30 minutes before today and said no. And, and why, she confirmed oh. again yesterday. Too. She actually didn't she not text us this morning, Brianna, and say like, "Yo, we still doing this?" Yeah, she texted me like and Josh that. in a group yeah. chat this morning. Was like, "We're all good for today," and I was like, "Yep, you got the address, sent over everything." And then thirty minutes before, she was like, oh, "I'm puking. I don't know what to do, guys." Everyone in the comments was really happy that someone was finally calling Tana out on how unprofessional she is. Here's what people had to say. Dave absolutely grilled Tana, but everything he said was a thousand percent true. She will never change. She has done this so many times. Tana has a habit of bailing on podcasts. I don't know how y'all are shocked at this point. She's so unprofessional. I don't know why anyone would give her money or waste time on her. And Tana responded and said, I'm sick, FML. Dave Portnoy hates me. Update, pissing off Dave Portnoy is scary. And you guys know, this isn't the first time that Tana has done this to other podcasters. Just a few days ago, she was a no-show for Bradley Martin's Raw Talk podcast. Doing a podcast or some sort of collaborative show like this is booking a guest. That's the most annoying part, right? Yes. Chasing people down. Tana, uh, go f*** yourself. Tana, she's By tough the way, to get a hold of, bro. Just, She'll even say that she's coming and then like oh, she's, cancel bro, the day. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Where's my phone at? This shit's so funny. Hold on. But this is her response. I said, I said 4 p.m. at 9 in the morning. Okay? Yeah. And I don't give a f if she sees this. <laughs> Yesterday, 5.53, she you. goes, no, no, we're going to have her on the podcast. She's going to have to explain this shit. Because okay. I want to understand it. What do you think about this text? You guys think this is bullshit? Like, because it's, it's a little crazy. She's probably wasted when she... Probably. <laughs> four, I said 4 p.m. 9 a.m. at 9 a.m. Send her text. So 4 p.m., that's the time we're doing the podcast. <clears throat> 5.53. Oh my God, I completely forgot. Oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? I'm so sorry. I would literally love to do this. I'm heartbroken right now. Oh my God. Should have sent her a Zoom shit. link. Send her a Zoom link. Oh, you're going to do it right huh? now? Do shit. it right now. Sure? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't even and know so why I'm... you want to run the show. Just well, now she's got to explain herself. So she's got to come here and explain herself in person because the bigger issue is like, I was like, you know, I'm good, but like, I don't want to tell them, like, yo, pull up and then they're all, everyone's waiting around and like, I'm looking like a you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so so it is what it is. We'll have to have she'll have to explain it. She also did the same thing to the Call Her Daddy podcast. Tana was supposed to be Alex and Sophia's first Call Her Daddy guest. And of course, Tana never showed. After Tana never showed, they posted a video to the Call Her Daddy YouTube page titled Tana Mojo Us Over. The crazy thing is. Tana's team was actually the ones that reached out to call her daddy and asked them if Tana could be on the show. During this time, Call Her Daddy was just starting to blow up. 
They were top of the Spotify charts and the interview could have been huge for Tana. They waited around all day for her, she never came, and they were left with no episode. Zayn and Heath also fell victim to Tana's schedule. They made a comment on their podcast when Tana finally came on about how hard it was to actually schedule Tana to come on. Why was this so much easier to schedule and coordinate than getting her to be on the show as an actual episode? Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> that shit got pushed out for like three oh, months. Yeah. This was just easier, you know? It sounded <gasps> fun. I have a fun on game. On a whim. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we all need to take a lesson from Gabby Hanna here and learn to manage our expectations when it comes to Tana. If you're going to invite Tana on your podcast, just know there's a 99% chance that she probably won't show up and you won't have a show for the week. At this point, if you're willing to give a platform to someone who's known to be super unprofessional, then you also have to be willing to accept the consequences. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.